mass shooting that happened at a popular bar in Orange County. Joining us live now is Fox 11's Phil Schumann. Phil, I understand we learned some new information today. What exactly have police shared? Well, they've confirmed that the uh, the shooter here, Lexi, which makes this even more shocking, uh, was a former Ventura, California police sergeant. He had filed for divorce from his wife uh, back in December of last year. Apparently there were issues. He had lived out of state and drove back to this location in a rural part of Orange County and targeted her without warning, walked up and shot her in the face. Fortunately, she survived, but three others did not. Today, all roads leading to Cook's Corner still closed, CHP blocking access as the landmark bar and restaurant that was suddenly turned into a crime scene last night is still being processed. When I heard the shots, I called 911. Too many shots to count, says Nelson Rosales, who was flagged down by fleeing customers desperate for help. I hear shots popping off and I see two bodies drop. As deputies are pulling up, he's shooting at them as well. And at that point, I just I ran and ducked for cover. I guess you could say I was shocked. Uh, we've been out here for 35 plus years. And uh, uh, it's too close to home. The 911 calls brought deputies in two minutes. The suspect, retired Ventura Police Sergeant John Snowling, was armed with three handguns and a shotgun when he was confronted by responding deputies in the parking lot where at least seven opened fire, killing him. Without a doubt and without the immediate response of them starting uh, immediate tactical first aid and creating an environment where OCFA, Orange County Fire Authority paramedics could then get into the hot zone and start treating individuals. And this is a collaboration that's taken place for years with our agencies. Undoubtedly, uh, more individuals might have sustained, uh, may have lost their lives. This video shows the inside earlier in the evening. Video from the band before they started playing for the popular Wednesday night $8 spaghetti dinner. It was just after 7 when all this happened. Snowling was apparently targeting his estranged wife, Marie. He fired at her without warning, wounding her and five others. Then, we're told, he fired randomly inside the restaurant and three people died from his gunshots. It is iconic. It is special. And nothing that happened last night is going to ruin either the canyon, its austerity, its prominence, or Cook's Corner. Bad, of course, remains to be seen. Those are the words of outspoken Orange County District Attorney Todd Spitzer. So, Lexi, no question, this is the type of training that modern law enforcement agencies do in conjunction with their partners in the fire department. You heard the sheriff refer to it as the hot zone. It's almost military precision. They go in, they locate the shooter, and in this case, they say he was firing at them, and at least seven deputies took him out, armed with both pistols and AR-15 semi-automatic assault-style weapons. Uh, so they definitely save lives. This is a remote location in Southern Orange County, way off the, the five freeway. So the fact that they were here within two minutes uh, is remarkable. They had the scene uh, secured and all of the patients transported within 45 minutes. Uh, they found 75 shell casings that they believe the suspect fired during that brief rampage. So lots of stories of heroism will no doubt emerge over the next few days. Unfortunately, three people plus the suspect did, they, did lose their lives. One of them was a 67-year-old man from nearby Irvine, California. The other two uh, names have not yet been released as to what was going on between uh, John Snowling and his estranged wife. Uh, she's apparently alert and awake and conscious in a, a hospital here in Orange, Orange County is talking to their adult children, one of who, whom is a, a Ventura County, California firefighter. So obviously that family is devastated. Uh, and the restaurant, of course, remains closed indefinitely behind me. Lexi. Oh, so tragic and, and horrific, Phil. I know our cameras were rolling last night and we had aerial views of your Fox 11 uh, chopper overhead as we were watching that scene right. unfold. And it was very frightening. And, and again, for you to say, too, this is normally a, a quiet area, a well-known bar. And then for something as tragic as, as this to happen and unfold there is is horrible. Yeah, it's been described as a, quote, biker bar. That's not really accurate. That was uh, maybe a generation ago. Uh, everyone here went to great lengths to say that it's a family uh, location. 
children were welcome. In fact, the place, the, the place was apparently full of families last night. No, no children, though, we're told, were actually wounded in the gunfire, though. All right, Fox 11's Phil Schumann there. Phil, thanks so much, and hopefully we'll learn some more about okay. this investigation in the days to come. All right, thanks to Phil for that update. In the meantime, we do want to continue talking about this story. Let's pull up again another photo here of the suspect uh, in this as we continue to learn more about that individual. We also have video from uh, earlier today. You're taking a look at aerial views here of police, of detectives combing through the home of the suspected shooter in this. So you can see this very heavy police presence there as they went through the area there. We also have another update that we want to bring you, though. New details about the shooter himself. A little more information that's coming to light here. Let's put this out to you again from our team at Fox 11 reporting here. Asking anyone to come out, Orange County sheriffs at the Camarillo home where suspected Cook's Corner shooter John Snowling lived with his wife for many years. 25 years. We all moved in. We all moved into this neighborhood at the same time. Wow. Would you have ever imagined? No. Never. Never crossed my mind. What happened? And to see SWAT entering the house, which has been empty since Noling, a retired sergeant with Ventura County Sheriff's, moved out. He told me he was packing it up. He's moving to Ohio to be closer to his daughter. Neighbors watched from the ground the surreal scene, more visible from Sky Fox. OC Sheriff, with the support of Ventura County Sheriff, securing the house where they found no one. I saw him about four months ago, and he was loading up the trailer again, but he was really quiet. They've not lived together for a long time. Uh, she moved, and she was starting to live a very happy life. and. The pictures that I see of her, she's happy and it's pure joy. She refers us to Marie's smiling Facebook photos. We raised our, our children together. So to, to hear that it's this close to home, it's unimaginable. And my heart and my thoughts and my prayers are with Marie that she makes a full recovery. All right, so some new information coming to light there in this tragic story. As you can see, a lot of emotions running high, understandably, after this all occurred yesterday evening.